Hi, every <coughs> Hi everyone, this is Yami Kim. Today, using Cisco ACI API, I will track IP address using Endpoint Tracker API. As you may know, this is uh, ACI API series, and this is the fourth the session. And it may be the, about six months is out, half a year is passed. <laughs> and, but uh, you know, uh, next time I will show you more practical thing, the port binding about the single port and the VPC. But anyway, so somebody needs IP tracking the API because so if there is a multiple the epics we need it. But uh, to to make a API code, I need IPIC. But unfortunately, I don't have it. But don't worry about that. At Cisco, there is called DevNet. Which alternate at DevNet, there is a sandbox. At sandbox, there are, uh, as, as you see, the ACI simulator is over there. So you can use it, it's free. There is a two types. One is always on. The other is a reserve. But, you know, at Horizon, you can test the API, but there is no endpoint, so you cannot use the tracker. Uh, so, you just click Reserve, and click Reserve again, then you can access 8 hour In your mail, as you see, uh, first mail is we are preparing, so it takes 12, 12 minutes, and second mail is about that. So, for the AnyConnect VPN, so address, ID, and password. This is password. So I will connect using Cisco AnyConnect. Okay, and then I am connected. You know, but this is very slow, really slow. And for the ID and password, or here, maybe you can just click this one and you can visit your reserved the sandbox page and go there and click the play button and here if we click attribute there is IP ID and password over there so uh, the admin and C1 SEO 12345 very simple and just connect it take a minute like that, very long time. All right, it looks working. <laughs> but you know, API is very fast. Just go there and tenant and heroes. This is the tenant name, and you can see it's slow. Sorry about that, but it's not my fault goes here and click operational and you can see the endpoint name all right so there is some ip button 4 endpoint is over there 10 193 11 .1 like that okay and click operational slow just to wait hold on take time take a coffee take a cigarette get the fresh air <laughs> And EP tracker. Okay, with the EP tracker, you can search and find. Oh, sorry, this is password. Maybe this one. Ten one nine three one one two. Okay, just click this one. But before that, don't forget to using the Cisco API inspector. We need it to get the the API. Okay, click here, then click search if you click search you can get uh, some lines but but located at ten tenant application same but if it's epg at the front because of that i think there are three lines and here here we got the the api and result here first thing is this is first like a, a get and very simple just IP is here and response is there and the AP, AP, epic request about 
three, three specific lines because it responses three lines. Okay, I will click first one, and here, here are some information over there. And if you go to here, API, uh, blah blah, what's that? API inspector here, you can see it, and here, this is about the uh, final result, and this is URL. This is what we really want to know, and here, but only you and I, on the end. Distinguish name, space, or name, name, name is here. And here, EPG, blah, DB, blah, blah. And here, here are many data, like uh, everything you want to know. <laughs> so, from here, from here, this information, we can extract the data what we want. Very simple. Okay, let's get the code. Oh, what is the PowerPoint? Okay, this is what I'm done to you here. Just uh, put the IP address and click search, and then there will be there will be uh, additional information with it. for for this example three lines over there. And the EPG is different and same IP address even. And if you click one, the result is over there. Very simple. So to do that, just to, I need to use the ACA inspector. Okay, this is a kind of flowchart. First, okay, oh, first, First, I need the ID, IP, password, and get the token using this file. And I'm asking the IP address, which do you want to know? Then default value is this one, just if you click enter, 10.193.112 will be searched. And get the location, and after get the location, uh, we can get the 3 DN name. And it's saved at least. And from the each DN, we extract the data and print out. This is number 131. Very simple. Okay, 131 is here. All right, jet, jet Z100 is here. ID, ID, ID host, name, host name, ID and password. And Z110 is just a token. It get a token from the from the, that information. Okay, and then we ask which IP address do you want to search, and then it put the first the API the using get, get blah blah blah, and then and then it get the DN, it extract DN from the sub data. And we did the, using DN, it, it asks about the endpoint location information. And then extract from the result and then print out. Very simple. Let's, let's test it. Okay, just enter <laughs> because that's default to that you wanna search. Okay, result is working fine. But if think about that, if there is only one epic, we don't need it. Just to go there and you can just click it. But if there is a multiple epics, uh, you have to search each site. Then you have to mix data, data. But if you have no time, if there is trouble, you are very busy and you are crazy. So just uh, simply, <laughs> very simply, go there and just uh, get the read information. I mean. I mean, there will uh, you can put the multiple the epic data at that file here and read it and get the token and do the same thing. And finally, the re remove the duplication and the uh, sort based on time to see the result in you know, eyes. Okay, this is it. Same IP address and then open this file. That one twenty is just text info text file. It has 
the epic id a post name id and password but you know i have only, only one epic so i do it like that and here same thing here the same same thing doing blah 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 but here here is this is for the uh remove the replications so if they're the same thing it will remove automatically and then finally it does a sort and then print out 136 is more useful i think okay same thing it work it does work very fast even though the graphic using for into the interface the web browser is very slow but api is very fast here here is the final result and after the remove duplications but you know because ncap vlan is different there is a three information over there same blah 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 very simple so uh, actually my plan is i will test it at the real site and then i will mm, i will convert this code into the web interface web version using flask and then also i have a plan to convert into windows application file very simple but because of that uh, later i will update again thank you bye bye